we have part D of the same question. And we are going to now answer this one. A national park lies inside the triangle ABC. The four boundaries of the national park are equidistant from C and B, equidistant from AC and BC, 15 kilometers from CB and along AB. And then question says, on the scale drawing, shade the region which represents the national park. Leave in your construction arc. So we're going to have to construct all of these. All of these uh, loci, basically. These are called loci. All right, so the first one is the locus of points. You've got to find the locus of points which are equidistant from C and B. Okay, equidistant from C and B. Okay, those, all the points that are equally distant from two points, two fixed points, would be the line. You see, it would be the, it would be the point right in the middle, and all the points that pass along a line which is a perpendicular bisector. The perpendicular bisector of BC, every point on that line will be the same distance as C, uh, same distance from C as it is from B. Okay, so we have to draw the perpendicular bisector of BC. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to take my compass and I'm going to make the arcs a different color and I'm going to make them very thin. And I'm going to put, see if I've made myself enough space. I'm going to put one of the pins, okay, on C. I'm going to open up the compass to around three quarters, I can, of the length. Two thirds, three quarters, something more than a half, and not too big so it goes, the, the arcs go outside of the page. Um, let me move the ruler way out of the way for now. Okay. Then I'm going to make an arc somewhere above the line where I know the perpendicular bisector will pass through. Somewhere, make the first one quite big, so be sure it won't miss. And the other arc I'm going to make, the other side of the line, somewhere. Again, make it big in case it misses. And then I'm going to switch to the other point which is a point B. Okay. How do I do that? Let me just make sure this thing doesn't move. Okay. So now I'll move my point to the point B and then I'll make sure the arcs meet. So that side and that side. Just about maybe on that side. Okay, so if I join these two points together. Again, I'm going to use a thin line, not too thin, but then I'll make sure that it joins together, that point and that point. Okay, so it says, um, yeah, so the four boundaries of the natural part are equal to from C and B. So that's the first one. That should be the perpendicular bisector. So the examiner will look for the arcs, he will look for um, the angle here, he will actually measure it with his protractor and he will look for the length BC and he will, he will measure the length BC and make sure that this point passes through the midpoint with a plus or minus one millimeter um, error for the midpoint and for the angle being 90 degrees. <coughs> so here we have the first part done. We found the, uh, the points which are, okay, um, equidistant from C and B, and we're only concerned with the points which are inside the triangle, not outside the triangle, okay? We're only concerned with the points that are inside the triangle. Okay, so this part is, is done now. Then it says equidistant from AC and CB. AC and CB. AC and CB. Now, when you have to find the, the points which are equidistant, equally distant from two straight lines which intersect, you are looking for what's called the angle bisector. You want to bisect the angle ACB, which is this angle over here. You want to cut this angle into two equal halves. Okay, so we're going to use our compass again to do so. All right, so let me make sure the arcs are thin. And I'll take the compass. Now, I need to go to, let me make it a bit smaller, the arc, and 
make some space. I need to put the point on to C, and I need to make an arc on this um, arm of the angle. I'll make an arc on this arm of the angle, and then I'll move. Turn it around. Okay, and then I'm going to make another arc on this arm of the angle. Okay, so both arms of the angle. And I move my compass point to one of the arcs I made. And I make another arc. This time, in the middle of the triangle, between, like in the middle of that angle, where you think the angle bisector will pass by through. Okay, and then you do the same from the other arc you made. Try and be as accurate as possible. I'm doing it in a, this in a bit of a rush, but not being as accurate as I should be. Of course, you not have to be a lot more accurate than that. Now, when I join the vertex of the angle to that point I've made, the arc, that should be, as long as I've done it correctly, that should be the angle bisector. So, this doesn't seem to click in place. So as close as I can. Okay, there is the angle bisector. That line should cut this angle into two equal halves. Make sure that it make it go through the whole triangle, okay? And there we have the two equal halves. This angle should be cut. So the exam, again, the exam will be looking for these arcs. He'll be looking for those arcs. He'll be looking to measure the angle and to make sure that it's been cut in half, plus or minus one degree. And that's how you get the marks for that part of the question. So that's the second part done. Then you've got 15 kilometers from CB. Now this is something which is, again, slightly different. So 15 kilometers. Now we've got to look at the scale of the drawing. It says 15 kilometers from CB. So let's go back to the scale now for the drawing. So 15 kilometers from CB. Now we know the scale of the drawing is as follows. The scale of the drawing is one centimeter is equivalent to 10 kilometers. So 15 kilometers is equivalent to x centimeters, which is going to be 1.5 centimeters. Okay, just pro by proportion. Okay, so we've got to measure 1.5 kilometers. We've got to draw a line. That is, as this question says, 15 kilometers from the line CB. 15 kilometers from the line CB, which is a straight line. So we need to draw a line which is parallel to CB and 15 kilometers, which is 1.5 centimeters away from it in the scale drawing. So we need to draw a line that's going parallel to CB and at a distance of 1.5 kilometers from it. Now, this perpendicular bisector we've drawn already will help us in this regard, okay? Because I'm going to use it to measure the distance that's 1.5 kilometers away from it, okay? So I'm going to take my compass and I'm going to put the pin on zero. And I'm going to put the pencil at 1.5. Okay, so that's 1.5 centimeters. Then I'll put the pin on the line BC. I will move the ruler out of the way. And I will make a mark on the line. I'll do it with a blue. I'll make this mark. This mark is exactly... 1.5 centimeters away from BC. Now, after this, there are a multitude of different methods you can use to draw a line which is um, parallel to BC. One of the methods is to make this point the midpoint of a line segment and then draw another perpendicular bisector. Another method is to draw a line that's, par that's like a transversal that cuts through this point and cuts through that line and then copy the angle that's made here exactly here okay so i can show you i'll show you that second method that's a, that's a very nice method actually so i will show you that second method so what i will do is i'll make it a thin construction line i will draw a line that goes through the point exactly i'll try and be as precise as i can and i'm going to draw an angle to the line that it has to be parallel to and I'll make this a bit longer okay now what I'm going to try what I'm attempting to do now is I'm attempting to copy this particular angle over here I'm attempting to copy 
the angle over here. I'm going to draw it exactly here. Okay, when I've drawn that angle, this angle over there, then these will be corresponding angles, and these the line that I'm going to draw here is going to be parallel. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the following. I'm going to take this put a marker exactly there. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an arc like this. I'm going to make an arc that goes like this. Actually from here, sorry. Now, so I know that that, if I now go that same distance, if I now go that same distance over here, and make an arc over here, okay, and then, See this angle here. If I go from there, do you see this angle here? This this length here. If I do it accurately, this this length here. This is the same as that, right? So what I'll do is I'll do the same thing from here. I'm going to make an arc in this region here. Okay, so that length is the same as that length. Okay, now I also know that if I open it up like this, that length should be the same exactly as that length. Okay, if I've done that, once I cross that together, I know if I join these two points together, I should have a line that's parallel because I've copied this angle. I've copied this angle exactly. Okay. So if I join this point to that point, and you've done it accurately, you have now constructed a line that's parallel to that line. Okay. That's how one of the ways to construct a parallel line to another. Okay, I'm going to make this line a bit thicker so that I can show that it's my actual line. Not too much thicker, but a bit thicker. So I'll make it about, about like that. Okay. So we have our construct our actual lines that we needed to draw. I've made them a bit thicker, that's all. Okay. Fat. Yeah. All right. So that is our line, which is uh, 15 kilometers from CB. That is our line that's equal distance from C and B. And that is our line, which is equally distant from AC and CB. Okay. And it has to be along the line AB. So somewhere along here along the line AB. So it says, on the scale drawing, shade the region which represents the national park. Leave in your construction arcs. Okay, so now we have to do some shading. So I'll just um, change the color of it. Okay, so it says, equidistance from C and B. So it has to be the same distance from C and from B. Okay. Up. the same distance from C and B ok 
Okay, same distance from C and B. That's this line over here. Okay, equal distance from C and B. That's that line over there. Then it says equal distance from A, C, and C, B. So it has to be equal distance from A, C, and C, B. So it has to be somewhere along this line over here. Okay. Um, there are the boundaries. So that's one boundary, and that's the other boundary. Okay, so those are two of the boundaries. So that's like one fence, that's another fence so far. Then it says 15 kilometers from CB, so that's another boundary. Okay, so it's going to be, that's another boundary. So we've got three boundaries so far. Okay, I'll just draw lines of a different color to mark the boundaries. So it said, so far it's going to be, that's one boundary. Okay, then that's another boundary. And it says along, and that's another boundary. And it says along the line AB, that's another boundary. Those are the boundaries. It's like the boundary wall of the park. Okay, so you've got equidistance from C and B. That's one boundary line here. That's part of the boundary. Equidistance from A, C, and C, B. Okay, so that's the that's angle bisector. So it's along this line. 15 kilometers from CB, so it's along that line. And along AB, that's the other boundary. And then you've got to shade the region which represents it. So I'm going to now shade that region. Okay, I'll choose a color to shade it in. Okay. So we'll shade this region here. Okay. Of course, there's four boundaries, so it's a quadrilateral shape. Okay, so that's part D done. And now part E. Okay, um, that's just a similarity type of question. So I'll quickly do that now. Okay, part E says, on the scale drawing, a lake inside the national park has an area of 0.4 centimeters squared. Calculate the actual area of the park. So you know one centimeter, change the color. One centimeter is representing 10 kilometers. Okay, so the actual area is going to be bigger. So you're going to have 0 0.4 times 10 over 1. And we're going to square. This is the ratio of the length. We're going to square it. Now, this, this scale automatically converts centimeters to kilometers. And when you square it, it will automatically convert centimeters squared into kilometers squared. Okay, because it's 1 centimeter to 10 kilometers. So that's all we have to do. So it's going to be 0 0.4 times 10 squared, which is 100. Okay, so you're going to move two spaces. So it's going to be 40 square kilometers, and that's the answer. It's a much simpler way than making them um, you know, into 1 to what, 1 million and then squaring that and then dividing by 1 million, okay, or 100,000. It's much easier to do it this way. Okay, so there we have our answer of this question. It's quite a long question. Okay, the thing that really make, made it involved was this part where you had to draw the perpendicular or the line which is parallel to another line. Okay, that's something. There's different ways of doing it as well, but that's one way I showed you where you replicate the same angle here in this part here. Okay, I hope you understood how I did that. Okay, thank you for watching.